She broke my heart. <clears throat> I want to go to space. Hi, I'm Ross Butler, and I'm at home with 17 to answer 17 questions. Something that a lot of people may not know about me is that I get really mad when people leave shopping carts in their parking spots after they leave the grocery store. It's like a big pet peeve of mine. It's just any, anything that can inconvenience somebody else that you're never gonna meet. I hate that. I have absolutely been starstruck uh, by a few people, but um, one that kind of sticks out in my brain is I met Keanu Reeves once at the premiere of Always Be My Maybe. Amazing movie if you haven't seen it on Netflix. Yeah, and he was at the after party. I was at the after party. I probably waited in the corner for an hour just looking at him, trying to build up the courage to do it. And then I just went up. So I just walked up and was like, hey man, I'm really nervous right now, but you're like a legend to me and you're a big reason I got into acting. And that's all I'm gonna say and I'm gonna walk away. But then he stopped me and uh, cause I was so nervous and he's like, hey, what's your name and what do you do and all this stuff. So he was amazing. I also like how I said it very smoothly just now. I, I, I don't think I, I, I think I stuttered probably like 20 times in, in the time it took me to say two sentences. Um, that was a big one for me. Uh, yeah, from 13 Reasons Why, I took my uh, my football jersey as Zach Dempsey and also my, my Letterman jacket. Um, I never got a Letterman jacket when I was in high school because I didn't play a sport that gave out Letterman jackets. Uh, so to have mine, like I'm thinking about framing it up and putting it up on, on the wall. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think that was just a very solid representation of my four years on that show. And um, yeah, it's something I'll always remember. Oh, I think I just relate to Trevor more because I feel like I just, in a lot of ways, am Trevor. I don't think I did a lot of character development <laughs> for To All The Boys, to be honest. I, I think they just asked me to come on just so that I could joke around with everybody, or I feel like that's why, um, and just bring like a different energy. So uh, yeah, I, I relate to Trevor more. Oh, that's a really hard call because every relationship I had with Noah, with Lana, with Madeline um, was so was unique and funny in its own way because Noah and I, we have so many inside jokes that like when I came in to shoot, we already had so much there. Lana and I have this awkward, weird sense of humor. Like we, I'm sure there's a video of it somewhere else with all this other press coming out, but whenever we try to have a conversation, it doesn't go anywhere for what I, it's the most awkward thing, but it's hilarious to us. And in Madeline, we, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe me and Madeline. It, me and Madeline's relationship is kind of like Trevor and Chris's. It's two people that you don't think would normally get together or, or would have a good time together. But um, yeah, we, we joke around a lot. So I, I can't say who's the funniest to be completely honest with you. It's, it's so different per person. So one of my favorite like on set but off camera moments was uh, we we were at the school shooting uh, the third movie and we were playing hide and seek. But the thing is, is we were in such a small room. There weren't like a lot of options. So um, and we played this for hours. So we would have to get super creative with where we could hide. And me being a big person is, is not good for hide and seek. So me especially, I had to really work on my flexibility and squeeze into some pretty small spaces. Um, but yeah, that that's always the fun time. Noah, I, we were friends before and we're better friends now. We just, we have so much history. We would just eat all day that was one of my favorite things like we our trailers would be on the sidewalks of new york so it isn't like we were on set somewhere that was isolated we were in the city uh that was my first time shooting so like in between scenes where, where we would have like an hour or two just to hang out we would just like change out of our wardrobe and 
walk on the sidewalk and go to like a bodega and get a protein shake or um, get like a slice of pizza. It was, uh, it, it, I, I didn't feel like I was shooting a project. I felt like I was at summer camp. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was just being there with my best friend. Uh, the two main things I want to do is an action comedy. I would love to do something like Bad Boys or, um, you know, or like Deadpool, I guess. But a buddy cop thing actually with Noah would be amazing. I, I think we've been trying to like figure out what kind of story we can tell in that respect. Uh, and then something sci-fi. I love sci-fi as a genre. I love everything sci-fi. It's just hard to tell stories on sci-fi because of how big the budget has to be usually. Uh, I, I want to go to space, fake, and in real life. What some people may know about me is that I used to break dance when I was younger. I taught myself how to break dance in my room uh, on YouTube. Uh, I did a lot of YouTube tutorials. But once I got, once I grew older and once my limbs got longer, I stopped break dancing just because physics doesn't really work in my favor. Um, but I maintained two moves. And that those are the two moves you see, the head slide and the six step. Uh, if you see any other projects of mine where I have to dance or on my Instagram where I dance, it's usually one of those two moves. So those are moves I've had for over 10 years now. I have done a proposal. It was going to be bigger than it was, but I got some intel from uh, from my date's friends that she didn't want me to do a whole big thing. My whole plan was like during a pep rally, um, I was gonna be like on the field in front of all the bleachers and I was gonna do it, um, which in hindsight didn't really fit her personality. She was a little bit more shy. So like, you know, I just kind of did a thing where she walked out of her classroom and I had like a dozen roses and I asked her and she said, yeah, I don't think she wanted to go with me, but it's cool. <laughs> I've lost contact. She broke my heart. <clears throat> Uh, the most romantic thing I've ever done, I think, is I wrote a poem for a girl. Um, yeah, I, I, I just kind of, in the moment, felt really spontaneous and, and I put a lot of time into it. You, that sounds counterintuitive. I started it from a spontaneous place, but then, you know, I kind of rode this creative wave and I, and I really crafted a poem and, um, and it worked. It, she loved it. And, um, yeah. That's just something straight from the heart. Didn't have to buy her anything. Didn't have to do any grand gesture. It was just something very sentimental. Curiosity is the big thing. Curiosity in life. Um, Cause I think in order to be curious in life, you have to love life. In order to want to know more about life, you have to be enamored by it. Um, because I, I love to learn things, I love to experience things, and I, I like to take time to, to really appreciate everything that life has to offer. So if I find someone that isn't in that same mindset, that's a big turnoff for me. Heartbreak for me is I, I turn to the creative arts. Um, I find that as my outlet. It's no matter what it is, whether it's playing an instrument or writing poetry or wood carving, just anything where you can channel how you feel into it. Um, I, Cause I think that's essentially what creative arts are. It's a language of emotion. You can even speak to someone about it, you know, cause that's literally communication that that's you expressing yourself. Any way that you can hear yourself out loud um, or express yourself so that you can look at it from an outside perspective. Uh, and then it helps you just get your mind off heartbreak. Uh, in a career sense, no, I don't really have any aspirations to be a musician or like a singer or anything, but I have been learning the saxophone for the last month and a half and I love it. And I'm sure some of you might've seen it on Instagram. Uh, but I just love the saxophone. There's something about it. I think my hidden talent and again, I'm not sure if it's hidden or not, is I, I pick up things pretty quickly. So I have a lot of hobbies. Yeah, I've always just really loved learning. I love the process of learning something new. So, uh, and then I, I can do the Persian snap.
I just taught myself. Look at that. Hey, can you do that? I would tell my 17 year old self um, to go after what I want in life and take more time figuring out what I want to do instead of doing what I thought people wanted me to do. I would have saved a lot more time and a lot more money not going to college and dropping out. Um, and I probably would have been a lot happier. So yeah, I would take, take, take the time to know yourself. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to check out To All The Boys, Always and Forever, streaming now on Netflix. And for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to 17's YouTube channel.